on today's episode of how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. Hi, welcome to another FSD Beta 9 video. Today, Vivek and I are on our way to Home Depot to see if we can get some soil for our garden. Let's see how well the system can get us there. So unlike our usual videos where we do extreme stress tests in more downtown areas, we decided to just do a generic route on like what we would do on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's what this video is to show you. So it's creeping forward for visibility. I can see that's clear, but the car just realized it's clear and it goes, which is being extra cautious, which I'm okay with. It was very particular not to go into the bike lane right there. Mm -hmm. Like it really cranked the wheel to go around the white line. Besides to change lanes. So for some reason the map data says it's a 25. Oh, there it goes, just right to 40 as we passed a 40 mile an hour sign. One of the cool things about Tesla's FSD compared to several other uh, programs is that it really does read every sign and adjust uh, rather than going off any uh, pre-programmed data. So if there's a construction zone or something that's come up that's recently changed, the system's able to read the current speed limit. That's interesting. It changed the lanes of this red light to give us the front of the line here. Because we do have to go left at, the, at one of the next intersections. And I believe that's what it did there. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. That was pretty cool. Yeah, That's right. something that I would do when I'm driving. This mini this minivan is at least a car and a half length back from the line too. So the car, you know, we're definitely going to be ahead of them. They didn't even realize the light turned green. Here we go. They just realized it turned green. <laughs> Thank you, Tesla, for that one. So now we just passed a sign that said school 25 and those only apply when children are present. So I wonder how it accounted for that because it didn't drop to 25. What do you think, John? I, I'm not I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like our school zones white signs or yellow signs because if it's a yellow sign, that's just a suggestion. No, the sign was white, but it had a yellow school above the speed limit. Interesting. Sign. So it said speed limit 25, a standard white sign, but above it, it said school. Well, I am a Tesla employee, so I know that sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of things they go based off of, but that's not something I know of because I'm not, that's not my department. But mm -hmm. I'm sure that there are, is some type of fail safe for that. This car is doing a great job on a, just a normal day-to-day -day route so far. I mean, I'm actually quite amazed because usually we take it to very extreme stress tests. And, but this is just your normal suburb, your normal day-to-day -day routine. And it's doing, it's handling it very well. Mm -hmm. And even though this is way more suburban than downtown, there's still like, there's still a bunch of cars out. There's traffic around and it's, it's driving just like anyone else would. Yeah, honestly. So we're about to pull into this parking lot. We just passed one entrance. They're probably gonna take us in this entrance where these two cars are going. I'm just along for the ride. Let's see what happens. It's pulling us into the parking lot. Now your destination is on the left. And yeah, I mean, just like that, this is our destination. Home Depot is right here on our left, and the car did a miraculous job of getting this here. Well, let's go get our soil. We found the garden section. Let's get our soil. Get out of here and just see how well the beta system can do to get us back home after our journey here at Home Depot. All right, we got our soil. Is one good? We'll have to do. All right. <laughs> All you can carry, Johnny? <laughs> Apparently more than you can carry. <laughs> I'm not as weak as they make me seem. <laughs> All right, we're doing this right at dusk, so it has gotten significantly darker since we just pulled up. So um, let's see how well the car can get us home, and I'm gonna park ourselves in a situation where it'll be probably a harder situation to get us home. Let's try and see how that will do. All right, so I put us in kind of the back left of this entire lot, so let's see how well the Tesla can get us out of the parking lot and get me home. 
blinkers on, it's doing some weird shit. There we go. Like I said, I was gonna put it in a weird spot to start it at, and it actually got us out of there as well. Yeah, that was actually surprising. Like, when we first tried to start this today, it wouldn't start, it wouldn't engage on a road, and now we just started it in the middle of a parking lot and engaged instantly. So we've got an oncoming car. We're kind of in the middle of this lane. Yeah. All right, well, it's got a funny look, but. Yeah, yeah that's a g mag, it's a wide open parking lot, so it was everywhere for us to go, though. For them to go, for me to go. Yep. Now turn right on. No harm, no foul, right? Alright, so we have a lot of cars coming from our left. I'm gonna try and put that data in for you guys. Alright, the its signal is now clear on our left. And the car is creeping forward. It sees a car coming from a very far distance away. We could have made it, but it decided to be precautionary. Now someone's turning into this lot. And the two Tesla, cars, two cars are turning into the lot. And we're not going, so I'm gonna hit the gas. I let go of the gas, it decided not to do anything. I'm hitting the gas again. And now I let off the gas, let's see what happens. There it goes. Okay. So with a bit of encouragement, it got out onto the road, but it still hesitated as soon as we got off the accelerator. In 500 feet, yeah, because a normal person would see that the people are signaling, car. turning into the, your parking lot, and mm -hmm. it's okay for you to go in, into the single lane, but the Tesla obviously wanted to wait till everyone cleared because it's being precautionary, and, yeah. then, and then proceed forward. Oh, so it's starting to slow down a little bit in this intersection after accelerating really rapidly. Gotcha. The, the red RAV4 on the right started to creep forward right as we started to go. Oh, it did it? Yeah, I think that's what made the car a little nervous. All right, so we have to make a right-hand turn here. We're taking this with good speed. Wow, wow that wow. took it like I would take it. Good speed. Yeah, it just flew through that, what, flash the turn signal like once It merged lanes as quickly as I would. turn signals and lane changes in this trip and, uh, and they're actually all very impressive yeah dude i've been thinking as much as we've seen fsd beta 9 trip up a little bit in crowded downtown areas i mean here we are 10 minutes south of downtown san jose and it's doing great just drove past the entrance that we would have needed to go into. Um, and bring us to a full stop and it says we've completed our navigation and that we're here. It's not wrong, that's what the map data says we are, so. It is, well thank you so much for watching our FSD Beta 9 video on our errands. Um, it did a pretty good job. I mean, it wasn't a stress test like San Jose or San Francisco, which shows you that this is more of like what more of a day-to-day -day person would probably go through with the system. And it shows that it's really reliable for stuff like that. However, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out when we go to Oakland and show other types of FSD content. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.